Hey everyone, good morning. Today we're going to go feed the fish. So my parents are into fish farming in Ibado. So we're going to go feed the fish myself and my dad. And I'll be showing you guys the whole process. Okay. So right now Ibado is so dusty and cold. A sudden hamatan just came from nowhere. What do you know? Well, maybe not nowhere, like, because this is the same time. This is the same time Texas is experiencing a snowstorm. I'm imagining that it's the same wind that is blowing across the the globe, basically. Cause that happens all the time you know when they there's an there's a hurricane and it's going through or there's a snowstorm or anything like that and it's going through it would usually go through some countries or some states and stuff so i'm just thinking that i haven't even researched it but i'm just thinking that that could be what it is because this hamata just so, like suddenly started on we get we got here on tuesday tuesday was hot everywhere was so hot i was like oh my god this place is so hot you know but then we slept on tuesday night and on wednesday morning the whole place was cloudy dusty foggy hamatan like a typical nigerian hamatan anyways so let me tell you guys about the fish pond so they have four ponds one has the like i think they call them adult fish i, I guess I'll, I'll get my dad to talk about it but one has like the big ones that would soon be ready to be harvested and sold one has the like teenagers sort of <laughs> they're not as big but they're not small they're like so they all eat different things and then there's another pond so two have teenagers and then there's one that has like the little baby fish like juveniles i think they're called so those baby ones have their own food the teenage fishes have their own food and then the adult ones also have their own food so i think i should Dad, can you talk about the fish sorry i just i'm, I'm zooming my vlog <laughs> can you talk about the fish their size and the kind of food I get. Okay. Well, let's just say, uh, as we are going now, mm. we have uh, some table size, some jumbo size, and juvenile. One of the ones. So the, the big ones are the table size, like they're almost ready to be harvested. Yes, they are, uh, they are big enough to to have. No, no, they are big enough to eat. Okay. But the jumbo are the ones that are very big and all of that. Then the juvenile are the newly stocked. One, um, they must have been like two weeks old, no, like three weeks old before we put them in the pond. Okay. So they are just one week old in our own pond. So what they are eating now is floating feed. Uh, you start them with 1.8 mm. Which is this, right? Which is this, this one. Yes, so this is what the babies eat. The baby juvenile, juvenile fish. fish. So after feeding them with 1.8 mm, mm. For, we have 5 kg of 1.8 mm. We started there with 2 palms like this. Two scoops. Two, palm scoops. Two, two palm scoops. Because uh, there are about 1,200 in that pond. And we are going from one, two, palm, uh, 2 palm scoop. After one week, we are going to give them 4, four palm scoop today. Uh, we will continue to feed them, increase it uh, step by step until they finish that bag of 5 kg, which looks like we finish within the next one week. Okay. And then they will graduate to 2 mm float feed. Right now, we are using Blue Crown floating feed. Okay. Yes. Is that like the best in the market? No, no, no. There are different brands. There's Scratin, there's Blue Crown, there's uh, so many. But these feeds are imported. And then, okay. oh, they are uh, imported. Yeah, this, yeah, there are some locally made one, but uh, they don't give them the required the, the nutritional, nutrients. yes. 
So most of the one, particularly when you are starting to feed in the early stages, mm. use the potted ones because uh, you, you, need to, to... you need them to develop and grow quick so that they will have resilience mm. to you know the conditions and all of that. And then from there, you can start them off on local feed. We come when they are getting to like four months. Okay. And all of that. Before they start to eat intestines. Like, like yeah, because for example, my expert uh, advisor is always telling me, let them eat a lot of floating feed until they're about three months. Okay. And then you can start feeding them with chicken intestines. Which I found to be very strange. Yeah. So the ones that are eating chicken intestines and the are the Jumbo are, table size. They are already matured, yes. Yes. They are matured, so, so that will make them, it gives them a lot of protein. But what we are trying to do with those ones now in the bigger pond is we give them intestine, they will mix it up with the local feed for, for the energy, for the carbohydrate need. Okay. So it's almost like they're feeding human beings, like they need oh, yes, proteins, yes. carbohydrates. Yes. <laughs> the, the protein. Help them to develop very well, but they get weight when you give them carbohydrates. carbohydrates but yes. it has to be a, a very careful blend of both, okay. so that you don't miss it. Mm -hmm. Some people will tell you continue feeding them with intestines. Some people will tell them you reduce the intestine. But I keep listening to my your advice, your my, my, my technical advisor, who is a doctor in the business. So that's where we are. So the the ones that I was calling um teenagers, yeah, that's the one. call them juvenile. Okay. So, so you have juvenile. when you first of all hatch them and they are beginning to develop tiny tiny, you call them uh, fingerlings. Okay, so pond one and two is juveniles that day. No, no, pond one and two are already So that's the ones I'm talking about. Pond one and two they are already two months old. So they are already like get, get into table size. Okay, so I was calling them like teenagers, and then I was calling the other one like adults, <laughs> and then the juvenile babies. Anyways, um, so you've had the gist. The table sized ones that the jumbo size they eat chicken intestines, like a fresh chicken yeah, intestines. Yeah, go to the chicken. Uh, they bring them when they press chicken in the chicken. Uh, uh, where is it called? Those, those, from the chicken pens. So. Uh, where they dress chickens and all of that. So yeah. They collect them in large quantities. They, like the big pond where we have about 1,400 fishes. Now we eat between 45 to 50 kg of chicken intestine daily. A lot. That's a lot. Yeah. Okay. So, it's too long. We are in the... In the... What do I call this place? Aquatech. It's called Aquatech. Aquatech. Aquatech uh, 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 College. Yeah. Uh, there are a lot of ponds. People list ponds here. Yeah, so. yeah, so there are a lot of ponds. People do different things. There's, there is um, chicken, chicken pen, pen. People do poultry. There's these, are some, these are some layers going on. Yeah. This is somebody breeding dog. You can yeah. see different. See other fish ponds. ponds. Yeah. A lot of people hold fish ponds. There's goat goat pens. There is this one is rabbit. They just harvested them. Okay, so rabbit was here. Uh, yeah, you could see uh, is it sheep, sheep goat, uh, ram, and yeah. sheep. Um, so there's so much like animal uh, husbandry going here on here. It's feed male production. Okay. Behind you, that, that house. Eh? Okay. It's male feed male production. That is one of the chicken slaughterhouse that is inside the complex here, the one you are looking. Mm. That's where okay. that man was getting the intestine. No, that. It, it, this one cannot supply the need of everybody. So he gets some here. He gets some from other outside places. This place is where they do smoking of fishes. Mm. Down there is the uh, 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 pig, pig. Uh, pen. Pig. So we'll see pig. come there. Okay, that's where we are going. Yeah. Uh, it's because we are doing this slaughterhouse. It's cold room everything is there mm. so you can see see goats yes you can see goats you can see turkey turkey okay yes it's turkey turkey is so if we continue going there are a lot of pens you can see plenty chicken pen yeah there's another chicken pen over there mm. so, wow so this place is like it's further down it's like one kilometer yeah 
So you have a lot of people holding different portions, doing different things. So here we are in the table sized ones, like the ones I was calling teenagers. They're in here and over there where my dad is standing. Okay. Yeah. So just watch out for how they're all going to jump. <laughs> Once they see and hear that food, they're all going to be jumping. <laughs> so let me show how you're throwing the food. Pour it front. Don't let it pour the body of the... Don't let it pour close to the distance. Give them more, they'll keep eating. Not that well, they'll be full. Mm -hmm. The other one that is dead. So, at this pond is um, the pond that holds the jumbo sized catfish, the really big ones that are almost ready to be harvested. They're also the ones that eat the chicken intestines. And you'll see that some of the intestines are floating on the surface of the water. And um, yeah, so they're usually fed in the evening. So that's why you won't see them really jumping or moving like the other ones were. So my dad was just expressing how these jumbo sized fish are well fed. And like I said, you can see the intestines that they didn't eat from the day before floating on the surface of the water so basically guys that's it for this video i hope you learned something if you did leave me a comment down below like this video if you did subscribe to my channel if you haven't and i'll see you guys in the next one bye